location, location, location. We have a beautiful park across the street in 10 City Square, 10 minute walk to the TV Garden. And then we have, we're on the Freedom Trail and Boston Harbor is right across the street. Prima has a prime location in Boston's Charlestown neighborhood, a spot that might look familiar to some and certainly struck a chord with co-owner Eric Allenbach. In 1993 was also my 25th birthday, which I celebrated at Olive's here in 10 City Square. The owner of Sansi, Patrick Lyons, set me up with an impossible reservation. I sat right over there. I had a wonderful dinner with my family. Todd English visited the table. Olive's opened here in 1989, a place to see and be seen, owned by one of Boston's first celebrity chefs, Todd English. It really felt like an honor. Everyone at the table knew it was like a special thing. Olive's continued to draw quite a crowd here for nearly a quarter century until it closed for good in 2013. I'm very grateful that we had that little spacing in between these restaurants. In 2014, Legal Oysteria moved in, serving seafood for six years before it closed in 2020. It is such a challenge for the people that take over back to back because the comparisons are they're just too close together. Now, Prima is primed to make its own impression under the leadership of culinary director Nick Dixon. I love to be creative. I love coming up with new ideas and new concepts. Dixon and Allenback are part of the team behind Lincoln Tavern, Capo, and Hunter's Kitchen in Southie. We knew that we wanted to do an Italian steakhouse. Prima's menu is generous in choices and in portions, featuring a 27-ounce ribeye. Freshly made pasta dishes inspired by Italy's many regions. There's the spicy peachy and the bucatini amatriciana, plus a cheesy chicken parmesan ample enough to share. It's kind of like a family style way of dining. At Prima's mozzarella bar, Chef Jacob celebrates the seasons. That fresh mozzarella might be wrapped in prosciutto. In the summertime, it might be served with fresh strawberries or melon. The dessert menu is hard to resist and includes a giant cannoli. I want people to come in multiple times a week. You know, that's, that's ultimately my goal. The layout is relatively unchanged from its most recent iteration, but the new decor is a nod to the building's extensive history. Well, the building was built in 1894. It used to be called Ruffin Hall. It was a dance hall and a social club. That social experience is one Prima hopes to recreate. Yeah, big shoes to fill, but so far so good. Frank Di Pasquale is the North End. He fell in love with the neighborhood when he was a boy after moving here from Italy with his family. I felt like I was home and I, I, I said, this is, this is Italy in Boston. Today, he calls the North End home and owns more than a dozen of its restaurants. Di Pasquale easily fills his day visiting each one, but for years, he's been pining over the one that got away. I had sellers remorse and I said, what did I just do? I just sold something that was so such a treasure for me. Umbria was a five-story restaurant and nightclub located just outside the North End on Franklin Street. It became a hit the day it opened. It, it was just the best of Boston, and it was the place to go. Despite that popularity, in 2017, Di Pasquale saw the development of the seaport as a sign to consolidate his ventures in the North End but he never stopped looking for a place to bring Umbria back. He looked up and down the street and finally he said to me, uh, how would you like to buy Fiori? The family that owned Ristorante Fiori for more than two decades was ready to sell the three-story eatery with a rooftop bar. We talked and we came to a number and, and uh, here we are today, the dream did come true. The new Umbria is Di Pasquale's 13th restaurant with a distinctly modern feel and unique menu. I wanted it to be that Umbrian cuisine along with American Steakhouse. Overseeing the extensive menu is Di Pasquale's longtime executive chef, Nello Cacciapoli. It's kind of like funny because my first job when I came, uh, when I moved to, to Boston, it was in uh, the original Umbria in Franklin Street. Together, Chef Nello and Di Pasquale have designed a menu that runs the gamut, a prime tomahawk ribeye for two, sushi and crudo, an aura king salmon, 
and short rib ravioli. We homemade everything. We have a place where we produce everything from the scratch. So we try to combine the Italian concept with uh, New England concept. A marriage born of a dream Di Pasquale refused to abandon and the determination that continues to drive him. I have no plans of slowing down. Actually, I'm looking for another location. You have an opportunity in life once and you have to knock on the door when it comes your way. Mm. And speaking of opportunity knocking, <laughs> Frank Pasquale has another plan in the works for the North and a new retail experience on Cross Street. Oh, he never stops. Good That's for right. him. And back to Prima, uh, there is a room at the back of the restaurant called the Rose Room, which is a brand new bar in there and a fireplace. You can have dinner back there. It's also available to rent out for private functions as well. Lots so going on nice. there, too. All right. Coming up, a Swiss bakery reborn. <laughs>